So the other day I was just on YouTube watching back some of my favourite pranks. Oh, what's that? Pranks are dead? Like 90% of them are fake? And honestly, no one gives a shit anymore? Well, you're wrong. And today I'm going to prove that. So we're going to be watching a prank from the greatest prankster of all time, Van Banter. If you've been watching my channel for a few months now, you would know about Van Banter's Roadman prank. And I mean, that was some groundbreaking stuff. Well, are you man looking to do it? Are you man looking to do like a threesome real quick? But that is nothing. That is nothing compared to this. A few weeks ago, Van Banter posted this prank. Shouting prank in the hood. Knife pulled. This is going to prove all you cyber bullies out there that pranks aren't dead. Okay, so before I start the video, I'm not hating on this guy. Don't send hate over to him. And yeah, let's just get into it. What's going on, guys? Banter obviously, and obviously I'm with ARTV. Yeah, obviously that's ARTV. How the fuck could you not know? What, have you been like living under a rock? It's obvious it's ARTV. Who else would it be? Obviously, yeah, um, we're going up to people, yeah, and telling them don't raise your voice, innit? So like, where's, where's New Cross Gate? Fam, just go straight down there. Hey yo, hey yo, don't raise your voice at me. See, I told you this was going to be a sick prank. Not only is this prank sick, it's also fucking dangerous. There was a knife pulled at one point in this video. So yeah, this is some pretty heavy shit. Going up to people and telling them not to raise their voice at you. Fucking mental shit. You honestly wouldn't see pranks like this anywhere else, except Van Banter. Oh, obviously, yeah, you guys keep saying I go Westwood too much on that, yeah? So obviously I'm in Lewisham today, innit, yeah? Yeah, it's obvious he's in Lewisham. How could you not know? It's fucking obvious. I mean, you got the famous Lewisham car park there, and you got that really famous Banksy piece on that shipping container. So it's obviously Lewisham. Where else? If you didn't know this was Lewisham, then I'm sorry, but you're an idiot. And make sure you guys subscribe to me, innit? And obviously one more thing, innit? My sub is gonna be right there, innit? Yeah, yeah, get that add in, innit? Get that add in. How many fucking times has he said in it? Right, I'm gonna do a fucking in it count. That counts the amount of in it's in just the intro. In it, in it, yeah, in it, in it, in it, in it, yeah, in it, in it, in it, in it, in it. What's so, what, he's down this way? No, but if you walk, it's kinda long still. Okay, you, do, you just, you don't need to shout at me though. Huh? You don't need to shout at me. That's just fucking extreme prank. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. No, it sounds like you're shouting at me. That okay, can we just acknowledge the massive fucking promotion in the bottom right corner? Oh, what the fuck is that? Like, that's one of the most obnoxious fucking promotions I've ever seen. Like, I mean, you can at least make it a little bit smaller. And maybe change the colour a bit so it's not so bright. You have to get to New Cross Gate. Do I know how to get to New Cross Gate? Yeah, to New Cross Gate. Yeah, Straight away. Eddie RTV, are you alright, mate? Do, do you know how to put on a jacket? I think he needs a bit of help here. Oh, uh, yeah. So, you know, Lewisham is that close to New Cross? Who's this fucking cameraman? Does he have like extreme Parkinson's or something? Has he got like no hands? I'm sorry, but how can you be such a shit cameraman? Like, seriously, how can you fuck up at a simple job that bad? Straight, straight, straight. Yeah. You're gonna see New Cross. Yeah, no, don't tell me what to do. Huh? Don't tell me what to do. I'm not so, telling you what to do. You ask oh. me for a directions, I'll give you directions. What do you want, cuz? Can I see you on your bridges there? Oh, you see them, yeah. I know what. But it's like you're, you're trying to dig my nut or something. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, no, no, I'm listening. We're shooting, uh, we're shooting a video, aren't we? We're shooting, we're shooting a, video. a video. Yeah, man. Sure, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll, show you. I'll show you. I'll show you right now, baby. Yeah. I'll show you. Yeah. Yeah, I'll see, yeah. I'll see. That's probably the most civil knife pulling I've ever seen. I was expecting this guy to have him up against the car with a fucking bayonet, but he seemed pretty chill. Okay, so that's kind of the end of the video. But right at the end, he puts like this little slideshow, and it's pretty much just saying, stop knife crime. There was no knife crime in this fucking video. He literally just pulled out a knife that's in like a fucking bag or something. Like, no one got stabbed. But anyway, guys, if you want to see more of Van Banter, I'll leave his link in the description. Be sure to check him out. And I hope he's proved a lot of you prank skeptics wrong. Because pranks aren't dead. And yeah, I hope you took a message from this video. First of all, stop knife crime. And second of all, pranks are not dead. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please remember to subscribe and smash that motherfucking like button. <laughs>